In Gadero TV episode 128, we'll be working with EPDM film and we'll show you how it's applied. The middle section will be fixed in place with an EPDM adhesive applied with a large household brush. The edges will be held down with a special contact adhesive. Start by clearing your roofing boards of dust and debris. Our roofing boards are fine saw textured boards. You can apply your cladding straight to these boards, but an even better option would be to install a layer of battening, followed by OSB or underlayment sheets, which will create a fully smooth work surface for your roof. The issue with these narrow boards is that they are slightly more prone to buckling, as you can already see around the edges. It's not a big problem in this form, but if you're dealing with really bent out of shape boards, a new layer of battening covered by sheet material is strongly recommended. A smooth surface is simply that much easier to work with. Here's another tip. When fixing the roofing boards in place, use at least two nails at every joint between the rafters and the boards. A single nail to the center of the board encourages the buckling process. The sides will rise up and the result will be a lumpy, bumpy surface under your EPDM film. EPDM film comes in either a folded square or in a roll. The length and width are indicated on the roll, so you know how to position your film before rolling it out. There's room for a little overlap with these rolls, so we can hang the edge of the film over this end of the roof and then simply roll it out. There's ample film to cover the entire length, as you can see, and the same will apply for the width. So do make use of that overlap, as it makes the rest of the process that much easier. First, fold back the top to reveal the bottom flap, which is the edge of the EPDM film. Take the edge towards the fascia board and make use of the overlap, the same as you did lengthways. Now we can open the film up the other direction. This has to be done in sections, since that's how the film has been rolled up as well. Ideally, this is a job for two people, one to hold that side down, the other to pull the film taut, removing the biggest creases and pleats. Once that's done, leave the film to settle for half an hour, that will smooth out most of the wrinkles. For now, we're pulling it taut on all sides to make sure there's enough overlap. It's not down to millimetres, but you don't want 10 centimetres on one side and 50 on the other. Now that the EPDM has had half an hour to settle, we'll fold it over and back towards the middle, exposing the bottom of the middle section to the adhesive. Simply pull it back like this, and you'll be able to roll it back into place once you're done. We've added a hole for a drain pipe, which we'll install after the EPDM film is in place. But we do need to drill this hole first. Afterwards, we can attach this gutter drop to a drain pipe. Alternatively, you can install a scupper going through the fascia board. In that case, you need the fascia board to be higher, around 7 cm, and notched to hold a square cupper. The water will flow away from the roof horizontally through the hole, which is another good way to drain your roof. EPDM adhesive can be applied with a roller or a household paintbrush. We're choosing the latter. Don't be stingy when applying the adhesive. As mentioned, we're using a different adhesive for the edges, so we're leaving one board bare where we'll be using contact adhesive. Make sure to cover the full surface. Five liters of EPDM adhesive covers about 20 to 25 square meters.
The reason we're using EPDM adhesive for the middle bit is that it gives us about a five minute window to tweak and adjust the film after it makes contact with the adhesive. Unlike the contact adhesive we're using along the edges, once that sticks it stays stuck. We're rolling out the film in sections of about 75 centimeters. That gives us somewhere to stand to roll out the next section. And like with the other sides, we're leaving around 15 to 20 centimeters bare for the contact adhesive. This is the best way to ensure that the roof remains rainproof and that the EPDM film doesn't fly up. There's quite a strong wind blowing precisely from that direction, so we're keeping the film in place with these wooden blocks while the adhesive dries. Next, we fold back the other half of the roll, apply the EPDM adhesive, and then move on to the edges with the contact adhesive. We've left the middle section alone for 10 minutes, so now we can be sure that the adhesive has set. Note that temperature can affect drying times. The higher the temperature, the quicker it sets. Five is enough on average, but wait 10 minutes to make absolutely sure. We're now folding back the end flaps, 15 to 20 centimeters, where we can apply the contact adhesive. Once those edges are back in place, there'll be no budging them. We're spraying the adhesive onto the roofing boards and the edges and tops of the fascia boards. Since it's a contact adhesive, we have to treat both the wooden surface and the film itself. The last section to be folded back is the first section to take the adhesive because this means the folds will be on top. Apply the adhesive to both surfaces, the timber as well as the EPDM film. Press the film down tightly into the corners by hand. There's not a lot of room for error. Once this adhesive sets, it's final. We are using this broom with soft bristles to work the film into the joints even better, but it's already looking very good. We're applying sealant to the film around the gutter drop. Use a pattern of curves and make sure to go all along the outer edge. If we manage to squeeze some of the sealant onto the roof from underneath the film, we'll be sure of a watertight seal. The wind hasn't let up yet, but we're already getting our money's worth from the contact adhesive along the edges of the roof. Yeah. 
That's not quite enough sealant, as you can see, so we'd better touch up just under the rim. And now you can see the sealant poking out from underneath as you press down, which means you've got a watertight finish. Wipe away the excess with a wet cloth and some washing up liquid. We finished the edges of the roof with this aluminium trim, also available in anthracite grey, whatever best suits your build. Today's project involved a carport, but you can use EPDM on any roof, as long as it's pent. We can't recommend EPDM film enough. It offers the highest degree of durability of all cladding options. This brings us to the end of Guerrero TV episode 128. Want to find more about the materials we've been using? Then remember to browse our product catalogue at guerrero.com.